Am I visible to everyone? Okay. So, time, straight away go to the topic uh, that we'll be talking about an accidental pregnancy type one diabetes, and it will be a case to case learning session. So, just to give you a your background, pregnancy but is one of the most uh, important topics as it deals with two lives, and so preconception counseling is very very important and essential. Accidental pregnancy is a condition where patient with pre-existing diabetes carry a risk of fetal complication and often post control of diabetes is a very big challenge, but it often happens in most cases. Challenging. Now, this is a particular case we will be discussing. She is a case of 20 years old lady with a history of type 1 diabetes for the last 18 years and co existing hypothyroidism. She also had an accidental pregnancy with a gestation age of 2 weeks and ELC of around 8.9%. She was advised to go for termination of pregnancy due to the uncontrolled diabetes on her first visit to an obstetrician. But she wanted to continue with the pregnancy. So the obstetrician immediately advised her to visit the diabetologist. Now, looking at background therapy, she was initially on a pre mix insulin until the SPART 3070, which was given at 18 and 12 units uh, two different times subcutaneously, along with the tablet Dothyroxine 75 microgram. Uh, she was irregular with the SMBGs, although it was much uh, told to her earlier by a previous doctor, but she only used to do at two to three times in a week. And apart from that, she had very erratic meal pattern and she was not consistent with her exercises. So what was done was the, uh, the patient uh, was uh, a diabetologist. She was shifted onto a basal bolus treatment, which was the gold standard in the case. Insulin lankers 20 IU once daily subcutaneous uh, was started after dinner and insulin aspart was alternatively started in a day of 10 units before breakfast, 10 units before lunch and 6 units before dinner. She was also advised to follow the 6 point SMBG and which was clearly told to her. She was also taught about the carbohydrate counting and insulin correction factors according to the, her insulin sensitivity. She was also told about the exercise regime as permitted by her obstetrician and uh, she was also told about the hypoglycemic prevention and her start management, how to manage those things as well. She was asked to use the CGM intermittently because she was not really comfortable with using it regularly. Option of insulin pump was also given but because of the financial constraints she was used for it. And uh, she was also provided an application on mobile phone to upload the SMBG data so that we can keep a track of her blood sugar levels on a frequent basis. Now, looking at an AMLI scan at 12 weeks, which was done, it was absolutely normal. Her subsequent visits were planned at every 45 days and she maintained a blood glucose level with a good SMBG profile. Intermittent CGM was done and of course the A1C was routinely done for this patient. Looking at the, uh, the blood sugar, how she fared, the first visit was done before the previous uh, the previous uh, treatment. At the background, the agency was 8.9. The TSH level level was around 3.9 and the insulin requirement was around 0.3. With the subsequent visit happening on second visit at the treatment initiation, the agency dropped once she was offered a basal bolus therapy and the insulin requirement actually went up because of the corrected dose being offered to her. Third visit was at around 90 days, in which the A1C was again furthermore uh, dropped down to 6.4%. The TSH drastically came down to 1.9, and the insulin uh, units were also increased to 0.98. As the preg pregnancy proceeded further at 26 weeks, the A1C also showed better results. TSH was again within normal age. Insulin uh, units per kg body weight were around 1. 0.1 unit per kg body weight. The before delivery, she had uh, 6.3 ALC, TSH is 2.6, and insulin on average 1 unit per kg body weight. 
So she delivered a healthy baby by using uh, the basal bolus therapy, and she was uh, well treated with this regime. So, in conclusion, I just want to summarize: pregnancy and type one diabetes needs an ultra-disciplined care to have a very good outcome. And I would love 